Hello friends, happy Tuesday. Today is Teach Me Tuesday and I'm Kathy Rhodes. I'm glad you're joining me. Today I'm gonna to talk about a new book that I've been reading called A New Kind of Diversity by Tim Elmore. It's a book about generations, but in this book, he talks about our brains and how our brain is like wet cement. Our brain is like wet cement. When we are younger, it is so moldable and flexible and willing to change and able to change so quickly. But as we age, it becomes more like concrete. As we age, our brain sets just like what cement does and is set in its ways. Here, I'll prove it to you. My adorable little niece, Olivia, is one and a half years old and she's currently learning three languages. Yep, three languages. Here's how. In her home, she's learning English because her mom and dad speak English. Well, then her grandma came to visit for six months and her grandma only speaks Portuguese. So her grandma and her mom would speak Portuguese to each other. And then when Olivia goes to school, she's learning Swedish because she lives in Sweden. Three languages, year and a half. She can't speak them all, not yet. However, she sure understands them all. Regardless of what language is spoken to her, when a directive is given, she does exactly what she should be doing. How cool is that, right? How cool is that? Her brain is so moldable right now. Well, here's what's happening. I had to write it down because I wanted to get it right for you. What's happening is our brain is creating unique neural pathways. The neurons are connected by dendrites. Aren't you glad you know? <laughs> All of this is, is based on our habits and our behaviors. So when we're young, we just don't have habits yet. We don't have behaviors. And as we age, we start to choose the habits we want to really create within ourselves. We want to choose our behaviors. And as about the age 25, our brain is concrete. Yep, we have concrete for brains. <laughs> we are so set we have had some life experiences. We're choosing our habits. Those neurons are connected tightly in our brain. And, and part of that, I mean, really, it's a survival mechanism. That is, that is a benefit in our brain so that we can survive, so that we can continue to flourish in the world today. Now, with all of that, with that survival that it brings, it, it still gets in our way because it also creates a challenge, a challenge within us to change. Can we change? Yes. Is it easy? No. Can we change concrete? Yes. If we apply a lot of pressure, we can make it crumble. Is it easy? No, it takes a lot of effort. So as we are older and as you deal with people over the age of 25, have forgiveness, have mercy. They can change. It just might be slower because they've got to comprehend it, right? They've got to create new habits and choose new behaviors. And, and really analyze it and think about it. And it's okay. So forgive yourself, be patient with yourself, be patient with others, and enjoy the young children in your life. Enjoy watching their moldable brain change every moment of the day. Be great today, my friends. See you next time.